Fantastic voyage. I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this video to all of the veterans, the United States, our allies, and anything in between that commit suicide every single day uh, that have been going on for uh, since the beginning of uh, our wars and everything in the past and, and continue to uh, leave a lot of loved ones behind. So, I just want to put it out there that a lot of us have um, a lot of demons inside that we don't really know how to fight. I'll be honest, um, there's a lot of times where I've been thinking uh, some crazy thoughts, you know, in the past. And I've overcome those thoughts with everything on social media and everything that's going on in the world and there's a lot of anger uh, held within a lot of individuals and they don't know how to go about releasing that frustration and getting over some uh, hardships especially since the beginning of the uh, pandemic in 2020 I mean everything's pretty much done now however I'm sure you uh, agree with me that a lot of people have been seeing a lot of changes in the way everybody is acting and treating everybody and going about loving one another or, or lack thereof of loving your fellow human being. And uh, we forget that we're all just people. So what I do whenever I'm feeling that way is I go out and explore. I get out of the house, I get off the couch, I get off the internet. And I go out and make videos for everybody uh, of whatever, you know, exploring. Uh, today, uh, I'm just driving around and seeing what other kind of videos I can make for you all in the future out here in beautiful southern Arizona. And uh, yeah, that's the best therapy, in my opinion, besides going to a normal therapist, is getting off your butt whenever you're having some crazy thoughts. And uh, go explore, get yourself, go free your mind. And uh, I don't know, go metal detecting, go hiking, do whatever you need to do where you're not just sitting at home stagnant or going to work, going home, going to work, going home. Pick up a hobby, go out there and explore like a, you know, like I've been doing for the last few years ever since I've been stationed here in uh, Arizona at Fort Huachuca. You, know, you wouldn't know it, I'm on leave right now, you know, but. Uh, you know, I'm about to retire here in a few years and I'm grateful every single day for my wife, my family, and everybody that has supported me along this uh, roller coaster of a career I call the U.S. military. So I've seen a lot of crazy crap, I've thought a lot of crazy crap, and uh, hiking and, and exploring really gets my mind off of all of that and focused on what I'm doing at that moment. So please. Don't leave us. Don't leave your family behind. Stay true uh, to yourself. You know, everybody goes through hard times. Right? Do not kill yourself. We love you. I love you. You're going to leave a lot of people behind that love you. So with that said, enjoy the video. again uh, as you've seen in one of my earlier videos last year 
It's an old uh, beautiful ranch that was built uh, at the turn of the 20th century. And it can show you how uh, people, can give you an idea how people lived back in the day, which is pretty neat. But today, I'm headed to the Pomona Mine. It's an old uh, gold, zinc, copper, lead, uh, pyrite mine that they had here near Brown King Ranch. And I believe it was like the 1860s, 1890s, or I could be way off on the dates. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check it out. So I'm a little weary because the one time I went to Lutz King and Trill and I went to Bear Mine, sure enough, I didn't venture all the way in because as soon as I entered the mine entrance, there was a growl. So if you're interested in that as well, <laughs> and uh, check out my reaction to that video. Yeah, you can, uh, I'll put it in the description below the video here. So, but yeah. Here we are, back at Brown King Ranch, heading to the Pomona tra uh, Mine Trail. So you have the lower Pomona Mine and the upper Pomona Mine. I heard different stories about how deep it goes. I've heard it goes on forever. I heard 20 feet. Um, yeah, a bunch of different opinions on how far it goes. I guess people don't, they're just speculating because they haven't really been out here, but it's probably just some little tiny mine. You know, so, but it'll be interesting to go on inside of it and show you guys that. Getting pretty close to the mine. I think it's right over here. And as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, mining equipment still here left over from the late 1800s, early 1900s. This looks like a, uh, looks like a big cable going up to the mine. Let's see if I can, oh yeah, there it is. So, oh yeah, check that out. Maybe you can see it. The pool with the, oh, sorry. The pool with the cable going up. And that's how they brought down the ore from the mine. They put it on a big old cart and uh, hooked it up this cable. I believe, I could be off, I'm not a miner. But uh, yeah, look at that, it's still here. Still here, look at that view. See the city of Sierra Vista way out there. It's beautiful out here. Oh, I see a bunch of rain coming this way. I'm gonna have to hurry up. I don't know if you see that that uh, small little storm out there. That's rain. Not sure if you can see that, but. Huh. 
All right, let's see if we can find the mine entrance. <laughs> it's an old car, old truck. It's amazing how they got this equipment up here so long ago. Let's see if the horn still honks. Oh wow. No, nah, I'm just kidding. All right, so I found it with the help of a lot of uh, bends and turns and switchbacks and a little bit of confusion. I knew it was right here though, around the uh, the, um, the, mail t uh, the mine tailings, but I thought I had to go all the way up there to the very top. So I guess that's what people say when there's an upper Pom an upper Pomona mine and a lower Pomona mine, which is right here. Ooh, if I don't fall and hurt myself. I, there it is. Uh, oh my God, there's a whole bunch of bats inside of there. Whole bunch of bats. Let's go venture in there, guys. Let's go venture in there. Hopefully no bears. Oh my God, there's bats everywhere. <laughs> Can y'all see them? Hold on, let me adjust the camera here. Wow. Look at all those bats. Oh my God, there's bats everywhere. This is too cool. Just hope they don't bite me. Use my flashlight. Use my flashlight. Turn that on. Hopefully it's bright enough. Watch out for those snakes. Whoo, there's bats everywhere. Holy shit. Dang, there's bats everywhere. Not sure if I want to go in here. Oh, oh guys, these things are flying all by me. You know, freaking Jesus. Yeah. All right. Well, I can see the end. All right. So maybe a hundred feet or so. But uh, yeah, the, yeah. These bats are everywhere. <laughs> These bats are everywhere. It's like a bat habitat. Woo, baby. Woo, yeah. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I'm kind of scared, so. Yeah, but I can see the end. You guys probably can't see it, but. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking at the camera right now. And as far back as the camera can see, that's, that's where it goes. It goes right there. It's about 100 feet, I guess. 50 feet, 75 feet. I don't see any light coming from anywhere else so yeah hmm a little bit i guess these are mexican free mexican free tail bats i don't know i don't know why not let's go in a little bit further oh yeah i can see the tracks i can see the tracks from where they had the mine cart hopefully y'all can see that jesus bats can we get it goes pretty far back there, but these bats are driving me nuts, and I don't want to get bit by a bat. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna hell. Uh, I'm gonna hot tail it out of here and head on back. The about three and a half miles I came back to my car to the Brown King and Ranch. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed that as much as I did. Every time I think I'm gonna be brave, I'm not that brave, but pretty brave, I guess. And uh, yeah, make sure you bring lots of water up here. It's uh, quite the hike. It's a great workout. Great workout. Burned about a thousand calories so far, according to my smartwatch, but who knows how, uh, how accurate those are. Sure, a little accurate, but not bad. 
But hey, sit down for a second. Hopefully y'all can see me here. Let me adjust the camera. But hey, I'm sorry about the camera settings here. It's a new gimbal. But hey, like I said, hey, if you're feeling down and you're uh, having battles with your inside demons, reach out to somebody, okay? Reach out to a friend, your parents, somebody who's gonna listen and you know truly cares about what you have to say and loves you. Everybody cares, especially when it comes to suicide and suicidal thoughts. If they don't take you seriously, then there's something wrong with them. Again, this is a uh, John, and thanks for uh, following me on this crazy trip up Pomona Mine Trail from the Brown Canyon Ranch. Until then, God bless.